So I'll demonstrate the base coat, ridge filler base coat, and a regular base coat. A oh, matter of fact, no, this isn't a regular base coat. This is a rehydrating base coat. So what it'll do is it'll rehydrate the, the nail if it's dry. And of course, it's going to stop your natural nail from turning yellow if you use a dark polish. So I'll show you the ridge filler first. The ridge filler is always milky, but it should always look thin and almost translucent as you apply it. If you've applied too much, it'll look really thick and clumpy. And then it'll take the nail polish even longer to dry. Always start. And as you can see, it's all going on nice and clear, just with like a little pinch of a milky finish. Whenever you're applying base coat, apply it the same way you would polish. Three strokes and always seal the free edge. That'll avoid the nail polish from chipping too soon. You apply base coat to all 10 nails. By then it'll dry because it's thin, and then you can go in with your two layers of nail polish. I'll show you the rehydrating base coat next. Always remember it should be thin because you want it to dry fast enough so that when you get to the polishing segment of your manicure that you're doing at home, it's dry. So that's Rich Filler, which actually dried matte. And you'll see that this one, as it's drying, it may leave a little bit of a gloss, but not a big enough gloss where you think it's top coat, and that's the difference. Base coat goes on the bottom to protect your nail and form a barrier between your nail and the nail lacquer, or nail polish, whichever name you prefer. If you're in a rush, use the combination top and base coat. This way you're not looking for the other bottle. And it's also great to use if you're running out the door and you just want to give your nails a natural gloss look. You can apply two coats and it'll dry fast and you'll look like you have a manicure. Mm -hmm.